Good evening, sir. First of all, we would like to congratulate you on successful completion of 50 years of Bits Pilani. So, we would like to know how the journey went on for these 50 years and what is the growth that you have seen in these 50 years. So, thank you. Good evening. Uh, first of all, at the very outset, I must say that I have 42 years of association during these 50 glorious years of Bits Pilani. Mm -hmm. Bits Pilani started as a deemed university in the year 1964 in collaboration with MIT Boston mm -hmm. and through a Ford Foundation grant we have implemented several exchange programs with MIT implemented most of the educational features of MIT in Bits Pilani a process which lasted almost for more than six to seven years mm -hmm. some of the important milestones in the last 50 years. The first one establishing the modern education system, modern American education system in India. Mm -hmm. If I correctly recall, Bits Pilani is the second university in India besides IIT Kanpur which implemented this modern education system like semester system, continuous internal evaluation, letter grading, and practice school method of education. The second most important milestone in the history of Bits Pilani and in a way what made Bits Pilani to reach to this stage wherever it is is the introduction of practice school method of education. Under this practice school program every student has to practice his profession like a medical student going to a teaching hospital. Okay. Every student, be it engineering, be it science, be it humanities, they have to necessarily practice their profession by going to an industry for seven and a half months during their educational years. This is actually divided into two parts. The first part called practice school one, mm -hmm. where the students are taken in batches of 10 to 20 to an industry accompanied by a faculty member mm -hmm. for two months during summer and the students are exposed to the industry and they try to understand how the organizations function in a holistic way. This particular program really helps the student in developing several soft skills and life skills. This is also evaluated by a faculty and it becomes a part of his degree. The second practice school course comes in the final year, it's five and a half months, where the student is supposed to work on a live problem which is of interest to the industry. Sure. So this is what is called practice school. This practice school, what started in the year 1972 as an experiment mm -hmm. at Hindalco Renukut, has today become a very big network, encompassing around 400 industries, both in India as well as abroad. And in every academic year, 2,200 students attend this program and it is supervised by around 200 faculty members. Okay. The next important milestone of Bits Pilani is the introduction of the dual degree programs. Way back in 1979, whereas you hear about dual degree only in the recent decade in various other institutions. But Bits Pilani introduced dual degree programs in 1979. In early 80s, the other important development is introduction of one work integrated, integrate work integrated learning programs for working professionals mm -hmm. that is without any dislocation from their work bench, they can pursue higher education. So what started as a, a small batch of 25 students at DCPL Calcutta mm -hmm in early 80s today again has become a very big network almost 500 industries are participating 18,000 students mm -hmm. are pursuing this program during this year in the past many have graduated mm -hmm. and in 2004 Bits Pilani introduced one of its most important admission test called BITSAT. This admission test is conducted online mm -hmm. in different locations during different times. Okay. The student has a choice to choose his place, 
his date and his time okay. this is conducted over a period of 15 to 20 days and this has been going on for the last 10 years without any glitch okay. the other important milestone is expansion of bits campuses mm -hmm. in a matter of one decade bits pilani expanded by creating three additional campuses outside pilani okay. and the student strength has gone from 2500 to 10500 in a matter of one decade it will be very difficult to find a parallel where any institution has expanded to this extent in a matter of one decade so tell us about the programs that are mainly offered by bits uh, bits pilani offers degree programs at all the three tiers of higher education mm -hmm. at undergraduate level we offer bachelors in engineering okay in civil chemical mechanical electrical electronics engineering electronics and communication engineering electronics and instrumentation engineering be computer science in engineering mm -hmm. B electronics and instrumentation B pharmacy B manufacturing engineering okay and we also offer degree programs in MSc four year integrated after 12th class after okay. intermediate MSc integrated MSc hans integrated programs in biological science economics mathematics physics chemistry and third year and uh, second year we offer master of engineering in all engineering disciplines mm -hmm. and the third year phd programs in all these areas okay. in addition to this last year we have started me programs for bsc students okay these are called post bsc programs the first one that we have introduced last year mm -hmm. was me in computer science with information security specialization this program can be completed in 36 months okay a four year program has been compressed into 36 months using all summer vacations a student will get an me degree mm -hmm. further he would also get stipend in his final year like any other me program mm -hmm. information security is going to be a very important area and it's an excellent opportunity for meritorious bsc students with maths physics background so tell us about the bitsat examination as well a uh, bitsat examination was introduced in the year 2004 mm -hmm. students need to take uh the test at any time of their choice at any place it consists of five subjects maths physics chemistry english and logical reasoning there are 150 questions 45 questions in mathematics 40 in physics 40 in chemistry and 25 in english plus logical reasoning mm -hmm. each question carries three marks there is a negative one mark for every wrong answer okay a person who is completing all the 150 questions will be given some additional questions if he exercises his option okay so admissions will be made purely based upon the scores of bitsat examination however bits pilani also has given weightage to 12th class or higher uh, second year intermediate marks they should have a minimum of 75% maths physics chemistry thank you so much sir